Hi, I'm Lisa and welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why Small Thoughts? Well, small thoughts can help lead to big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts that might come along. They often do, don't they? So welcome, welcome, welcome new puzzle buddies, old puzzle buddies and soon to be puzzle buddies. Thank you for stopping by and watching my Small Thoughts channel and welcome to my puzzle room, my puzzle corner, a place on my house I like to come and have small thoughts mostly with puzzles and sometimes making puzzle videos so thank you very much for stopping by and seeing this week's puzzle video called winter bird magic which is inspired by a puzzle that i did in one of my recent christmas videos by cobble hill called winter bird magic and i thought i think i'd like to do a whole video featuring puzzles that feature birds and winter and beautiful scenes with our feathered friends. So I thought I'd do that today. So welcome to Winter Bird Magic. <laughs> Took me a while to think of that one. <laughs> so thank you Puzzle Buddies and I'll give you a little bit of an update on the Oh, my um, Puzzle Gift Away contest going on. I am going to extend it by Today is the 12th by 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. I want to do it to December 18th. So I'm going to give you 12 and six extra days, six extra days to enter. And all you've got to do is be a subscriber to the Small Thoughts channel just by hitting the subscribe channel and making a comment in the video uh, uh, telling me type of puzzle you like maybe using the secret uh password code hashtag puzzle buddy in also in the description i'll give the link to the video that you need to go to in the in the description all you've got to do is head over and subscribe and make your little comment hopefully you'll win my puzzle package okay what other news do i have i am very tired this week it was a lot of big thoughts going on so i hope you had some small thoughts and i want to thank you especially um puzzle buddies for allowing me have some small thoughts today and have a little bit of peace and calm super busy around the christmas season and uh, lots to do lots of memories some pleasant ones and happy ones and some not so happy ones for some people i think i uh, had a nice time last night i've been doing a lot of christmas crafts which i haven't done in a while and i did some candles last week and i've been doing off and on but i've come across the best best recipe for some bath bombs i wanted to do bath bombs up there were kind of like lush that didn't cost me 10 or 15 dollars for myself and i started making them and they are beautiful i made a couple of batches that didn't go so well and um i finally ended up on one that's super simple and i think the trick is to not use too much fragrance oil and use really good essential oil and i have a very simple recipe if you're interested on my small thoughts website smallthoughts.ca um, and how to make us pretty easy, pretty cheap um, bath bombs if you want to make them for yourself for gifts. Um, I was pretty happy with how my turned out. And then other things, I think that's kind of it. I will get on with my video, but first I will have a drink of my hot cocoa, which I'll grab here, not on my puzzle table, which is a very bad idea. I do not recommend any kind of a drink on a puzzle table which I hear by rumor only. Um, my drink I'm having today is a hot chocolate and it's really good from Willie's. Not sure if I've had this before, but this is the package. And I always make it with milk. And of course, everyone knows that hot chocolate's really just a catalyst for whipped cream. So tons and tons of whipped cream, which is kind of melted. I'm just gonna have a quick sip if you don't mind. And you of course feel free to grab a hot drink or a cold drink or uh, something cozy, a little cup of Christmas cheer, whatever you'd like to have and join me while we sit and have some small thoughts. So one more sip. Mm, very, very good. Excellent. Very homemade tasting hot chocolate. Very authentic, delicious. Okay, so off we go and I will start with the first puzzle and this is what inspired me. Somebody commented in the video that they really love this puzzle, and I think they went and bought a couple of them. So that's nice to know. Let me know how you how you liked your uh, your um, 
uh, magic, uh, your Cobble Hill magic uh, puzzle. This is the Winter Bird Magic, and what they are is a series by Cobble Hill. There's a Winter Bird Magic, and then I've got a Hummingbird Magic I'll show you in a second. They have a Rooster Magic, a Water Bird Magic, which I definitely want, and an Owl Magic, which they I think only have in the thousand pieces. But this is Winter Bird Magic, the inspiration for winter birds <laughs> or winter bird magic uh how many times am i going to do that in this video i don't know as many times as i feel like so this is winter bird magic and then i've got the other one to show you i'm not spending a lot of time with that because it was in my one of my christmas videos earlier i think it was the hodgepodge lodge one and this is the hummingbird magic one you can see how they do these really cute little scenes there i'll go in closer for you very pretty very nice one of course the puzzle always comes with a poster i'll show it to you quickly here try not to crease it a nice matte linen print on it which makes for no glare on the puzzles as well put this over here if i can get my lid back on so i'm able to do this puzzle series because our friend Copernicus is not here tonight and he's off at his monthly side roll meeting. So I thought we could do a puzzle series on birds. <laughs> maybe it's a good thing that Copernicus is not here maybe because Copernicus likes birds maybe a little too much. So the next one I had, oh I want to show you quick, was the puzzle orders for that, for these, the whole series, the whole Winter Bird Magic, Rooster Magic, Search from Cobble Hill, is by Rosalind Solomon. And she does a lot of children's illustrations, cards, and I think a lot of other puzzle, um, a lot of other puzzle art work, because I did find one in my collection quickly. I think, I'm sure it has some other ones. This is called Manfred's General Store from Bits and Pieces, and that's also her artwork. So she's pretty, a pretty prolific puzzle artist, and very, uh, very happy to have her in the puzzle artist community. So the next one I have for Winter Bird Magic series is called, I think this is the person that came up with two deers and a cardinal, or two cardinals, one deer. Can you guess what this is called? I had to double check. <laughs> I'll give you another moment. This is called Birds with Skates. And indeed it is. So of course some beautiful winter birds, the Blue Jay, oh, um, Cardinal, my favorite with some pl a plaid scarf here and then some pretty skates on a fence post. I'm not sure if they're getting their shoes on or off or getting ready for a nice skate, but a very pretty puzzle from Cobble Hill, a little 500 portrait, not portrait, landscape, yeah, portrait size one here. And next, another one from Cobble Hill. So this is a series that Cobble Hill has. There's four of them. I just have the two. And this is called, I'm putting this in for a reason. This is the, uh, called, um, hang on. Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, and this is based on a book that was published by a series of art and illustration and little notes of an Edwardian lady who one summer, 1906, spent time doing drawings and making notes about her life in the countryside in England. And as a result, we've got this beautiful book and series. There's a winter one, a spring one, a summer and autumn. I've got the winter one here which has got lots and lots of birds. You can see so many different birds there and of course many floral and fauna and bunnies. So we've got all kinds of different kinds of berries. There's the little bunny on the side there. I wasn't making it up. We've got some um, beautiful, like, beautiful um, leaves and branches and things like that. We've also got just adorable drawings. So there's some bunnies there, but lots of birds. Let's see if I've got a cardinal here. How can there be a winter puzzle without a card? Maybe they don't have cardinals in England. I have to find that out. But a little nest of chickadees down there. And so, so, so cute. This is the autumn one that matches it. And the spring and summer look almost identical as well. I think just the lettering's a bit different color. 
And that's the autumn one. This is, this is one of my favorite puzzles. I like anything with little collages and I like the text and I like to kind of learn things as I go along. <laughs> it's okay, I promise. <laughs> That's what Ziploc bags are for. Okay, the next one I have, and I kind of snuck this one in, kind of a bit of a cheat. This is from Gallison and this is called Feathers. And a gorgeous, gorgeous one from Gallus and another foil puzzle. Probably not showing up on the camera. I'll see the little, the little poster in here if we can get a better image with the poster. Oh, this is pretty. The poster doesn't have the foil on it, but you can see the images there. A nice thick poster quality. It's small. I find their poster poster is small but it's nice because the, the box lids are pretty heavy so that's beautiful and some of the foil was in all the different bird feathers you can see there splash that around so colorful beautiful and vibrant a nice 500 piece 20 inches by 20 inch square puzzle by gallison in that grid ribbon cut not the uh, random cut like cobble hill and then i've got another one from cobble hill this is not so wintry, but you'll see why I put this here in a second, just because it's so nice. It's got a lot of, lot of winter birds. So this is called Popular Backyard Wild Birds of North America from Cobble Hill. And indeed it is. And this is a really nice one to sit down if you've got a window or a porch or a conservatory or someplace, a little spot in your home that you can look out and maybe spot a bird or two outside while you do this puzzle. Maybe you would spot a cardinal or see you've got a blue jay here, a blue jay here. A woodpecker, there's got to be a woodpecker, yeah, right down there. So lots of nice birds here. We've got uh, I've got some finch. My finches aren't quite that red. And there, of course, the cardinal, the titmouse, the bluebird. I've never seen a bluebird, but if you're lucky enough to see one, let me know. Not a bluebird outside my backyard, that's for sure. Really nice, calm puzzle that helps you learn about birds and their different names and their Latin names while you puzzle along. And it's beautiful when it's finished and would be absolutely stunning when done and glued. So another one from, oh, another, another one, but this is one from White Mountain, but another one similar to the one we just saw, and this is called, this is White Mountain's version of Birds of the Backyard. Kind of different. A lot of different colors and a much bigger size. The White Mountain are larger puzzle size pieces. I'll just see if I grab one quick for you. So larger puzzle size pieces and, of course, very sturdy, really good quality. They don't come with um, a poster, but we'll forgive them because they do put a lot of, I think, a lot of money into their inks and reproductions because the, the finished images from White Mountain are gorgeous. And I'll just quickly show you why I like this puzzle so much. A lot of the White Mountain ones do this, is they've got... The big puzzle here with your your scene of all the different birds. Let's see if we can find my friend the cardinal, some bluebirds, and then are there any hummingbirds in here? There's got to be. Oh yeah, here's some oh there's woodpeckers there, but there's some hummingbirds up here. They've got all the different birds here, and then all around the border. It's so teeny tiny, but when you're doing it up big, it's gorgeous. All around the border, you'll see. The different birds and the varieties and their names so you can learn about them so every bird that's on this border will also be in here so it's kind of fun to see if you can you can pick it out i really love that one you've got your cardinal right there and some blue uh, bluebirds here and there and where's my least favorite bird the grackle I don't know. They've got, they're really big and black. They look kind of like a crow and got like a green yellowy eye and they scare away all the other birds. So that's from White Mountain and we'll forgive it even if it does have a grackle in it. And then next we've got kind of, this is a cobble hill, but it's a line con jack pine. And I mentioned this last week. I didn't really talk about it very much. This is Adirondack birds. 
in an Adirondack Muskoka chair, bright red. Maybe at your cottage you forgot to put away your, your chair or in your backyard someone forgot to put that away because that would be a travesty to leave a Muskoka chair out in the snow like that over the winter. And of course all our little feathered friends have come. You can see the really gorgeous artwork in this one. The little birdhouse there and the bird friends with the card and all the blue jays. The chickadees and look at them all the different types and the pine tree in the back. Beautiful scene of birds on a wintry day. Nice puzzle here. A thousand pieces. And last but not least is one that I already mentioned but I love it so much and I keep I forget how much I love it and I wanted to show up again. This is called Cozy Birdhouse by White Mountain and that's 550 pieces and the finished size is, oh I forgot, is 18 by 24. So it's 550 pieces but it will be the same size as your Ravensburger or, or Cobble Hill and the pieces are large. I'll show you what they are. Like that. Gorgeous quality and this is a beautiful puzzle. I love the image of it, of the birdhouse out in the pine tree. It reminds me of probably one of the first times I even really remember seeing a birdhouse. My grandmother used to have one on her front yard on her property and a giant giant pine tree was there and she had a, a birdhouse similar to that and I remember one day her pointing out the birds to me being very excited and I thought oh this must be, <laughs> this must be something special and so she had pointed out blue jays to me and of course cardinals. She loved seeing the cardinals out at her bird feeder. And of course now I have a bird feeder out and I love to see cardinals too. So that's the end of my my version of a winter bird magic puzzle series. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd like to hear if you've done any of the puzzles that I've shown, if you've got some recommendations for some wintry bird scenes that uh, you might want to share with, with me and other puzzle buddies. And I also want to take time to say thank you to people who took time to comment on the last videos. To those of you who aren't feeling very well and a bit have been a bit under the weather, I hope you're feeling better. To those of you with young kids at home and are finding time to puzzle with your small 300 uh, piece puzzles good for you i'm glad you're able to find some small thoughts and of course puzzle buddies i want to thank you for all the small thoughts you give me so until next time i'm lisa and i'm wishing you lots and lots of small thoughts